Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Spaced here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be creating a bee sanctuary in 10 minutes. Now for those of you who don't know why I'm doing 10 minutes, I have done a previous challenge on my channel. I actually have a playlist for it where I create things in 10 minutes and I give myself a theme and I have to build that in 10 minutes and we see how the best it comes out. So what I'm going to do is get ready to kind of start a nice little kind of beehive, um, so bee sanctuary and I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to do this. Um, so hopefully this turns out well. I'm going to start my timer in three, two, one, now. So my timer has started, and already I um, already I'm a bit behind, but that will do. Uh, how am I going to do? This? So basically I'm going to try and work out the frame. I'm going to have like a free gap between these. Now I don't want anything too big. Now this might be overstepping the bounds by going this this wide, um, and then we're just going to copy this. Maybe this will actually be a good size, a good size to have. And then we can push this one to here and here. Grab some barrels, I reckon. Now we probably should have started with barrels and we could have just done this. And now I'm just gonna have to replace them with barrels, which is already wasting time. So the reason why I like creating things in 10 minutes is it just gives me that freedom and uh, gets my brain kind of being creative and uh, allows me to just to play around and not feel like I have to build something amazing. I can you know kind of have a bit of fun with things so this is why i like doing it and um a lot of you seem to like it so we're going to see how this turns out but what i'm going to do is stack these up put the barrels on top so this is going to be four high then connect them all up i think then from here i'm going to work straight on the roof um probably going to fill this with glass as well not really sure what i'm going to do on the inside of these um i've never really built uh bee sanctuaries before because i don't really play around with bees too much funnily enough i probably should uh, but I don't because I'm just not really into that kind of uh, breeding and all that. But the honey blocks are good. So I guess there's always bonuses to it. So maybe we go. Um, now I've got to come up with a really wacky roof design I think. For this to work. So something like this is probably going to be my best bet. Um, I could probably full block this. Or this. Um, yeah I may be full blocking on this be my best choice and I can do that and that nope that's just gonna look horrible let's just roll with this um, I don't have enough time to be playing around with it so we're gonna see what goes down um, that already seems like a decent roof then we can just connect this up like so across here and here then we come around here we need to put that like so and then backwards stair this Hopefully, I've got this in my head and it's all good. And then we finish it on this side. So, backwards stair, stair, backwards stair. Just trying to remember it as well, this pattern, without wasting too much time. I'll see if I got it right in a bit, I guess. And then come along here. I actually want to put something in this middle section here. So, I'm going to slap that there. And yeah, we're going to repeat the roof design in this center point right here. And then like so and we do the same for this side here now I probably could have used dark oak instead of spruce um, I do generally use spruce a lot in my builds I just think spruce is generally the better looking block out of them out of the uh, blocks in this game so I generally roll with that now I'm gonna get some white stained glass and we're gonna attempt to fill in this roof section like so now I'm not a big fan of using full blocks on roofs uh, I just think they look a bit weird so hopefully this turns out a lot better than I'm thinking but we don't know until I filled it in so got to have speed up really and kind of get going we've got 3 minutes 30 already done on the clock which is pretty bad because I'm nowhere near done I'm absolutely nowhere near done so I need to hurry up a bit hurry up um, we've still got a lot to do we've got to do the inside really Otherwise, it's not really a beehive. There's no bees in it. Uh, that would do. And then come across here. Like so. I feel like this is... For 10 minutes, this has definitely been way too big of a space to cover. Now, what I'm going to need to do is get glass. Uh, the white stain here. And I probably should have went with planks on the bottom like so. Uh, around here as well. Like so. Just for now, that will have to do, and then I can just fill this in 
Now I probably could have went with a little bit more. Uh, probably would have could have went with a bit more detail if I pressed the these blocks in by one. But right now, I don't think that's really an option. Uh, for ten minutes, I don't. I can't use this. I can't spend my time committing to that much detail. So I'm gonna have to roll with something like this. Um, and hopefully, this isn't looking too bad. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna go with the stripped uh, and then place those there. We could probably get some dark, maybe dark. It's just gonna look weird, I think, um, on top of those. Yeah, that's just gonna look weird. We're gonna have to go with spruce. Uh, let's put that on one and two. And what are we in? We're five minutes in, halfway through. Uh, we're not looking too bad. We're not looking too bad. This is probably one of the better looking ones, I think, that's kind of come out of this. Um, like so. We're going to have that there, that there. And uh, we need to fill in this section here now. Probably just going to have to get this glass and go across like so. Although, looking at it, it's probably going to be better in full blocks because this is all full blocks up here. Um, so something like that. It's going to look a bit wacky. I'm not really sure. Too keen on that though. Really not keen on it. But I don't have much choice but to stick with it. I think using the using the glass panes might have been the better choice. Um, something like that. Although it might not have been. It might not have been indeed. I think I've messed up here. Um, no, I'm rolling with it. That, that looks a lot better. It just This just doesn't have any... It just has one layer to it. It looks really weird. This is going to have to be what I'm doing. I'm going to have to commit to this now. Um, there we are. That's going to have to look like that. It probably could look a little, a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But I don't have that kind of, you know, that much to play, time to play with. So we're going to just roll with something maybe like this. Um, and then actually we'll get rid of this. Here we can put that there. Go across like that. Get some slabs and trap doors. Now how much time we got? 6.47. Um, oh, how's this going to work? Something like this. Like that. Then we can repeat this around this side. Um, but actually we can't because it's a different design. So we're going to have to play with someone else. We're going to have to go um, like that. That's even simpler. That works a lot better on this side than I thought it was going to work. And then we can get the fences. And we can put those in here. Uh, lanterns. We'll put some lanterns on here. Chains. Uh, leaves. Cool. Then, uh, well, I can't even do that here. So I've already made a, an absolute booby that. But we can just add in some bit of decoration around the back here uh we've got so much space to play with i don't really know what to do with all that i'm gonna just put something in the inside for now so that we have an actual we're gonna i'm just gonna work on the inside mostly because i'm gonna need some bees in here so i'm gonna use scaffolding uh beehives and we can place those on top of each other so i'm gonna go one two uh one two one two no no, we'll go with more like one there and maybe one there no, that's too many it's too many um and then from here we can just get things like flowers uh roses oh god come on where are the big flowers um i don't know all the names of them these ones here so we can go around like so oh no broke the block of course I did. Of course, when I when I have what a minute and a half, I broke the block. Um, then we can go podzel, course, the uh, bone mill, and we can just quickly texture up the floor. Oh no, this is um, it went from doing okay to being a bit of a shambles. And uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about this anymore. We're panicking. I'm panicking. And then we can throw down some some of this. Uh, obviously, I could add more flowers, but I want to keep it kind of uh, very natural in here. And then we can add some bees in. 
So one, two, three. We'll just add three for now. And now, uh, what we got? 30 seconds left. And um, from here, I think that is pretty much it. We could probably add a few leaves in just on the side here. Keep it very naturey. Um, but yeah, not looking too bad. I think that is time. It's got, oh, no, we got 10 seconds. I can just add something like that. Nothing too bad. And yeah, that five, four, three, two, yeah. All right. Now, there you go, time. Time is officially done, but just for the sake of it, I'll add these bushes in. So that is pretty much what we came up with in 10 minutes. That doesn't look too bad. Surprisingly, in 10 minutes, this came out looking a lot better than I thought it would. Now, obviously, there's so much I could add. I could add trapdoors under this in here, lanterns. I could actually add something better than just spreading leaves around here. For 10 minutes, I'm very, very happy with this. This looks really good for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Uh, I wish I could finish a path and everything around it. But you know what? That was a good one. I enjoyed that. Now, I'll probably make a full-length tutorial on a bee sanctuary soon, but I'm going to make an actual one um, where I spend a lot of time on it and not 10 minutes because, uh, yeah, I, w I don't think I'd put this on my channel as a full tutorial, but I definitely, uh, I'm definitely happy with the outcome and I would definitely love to jazz it up a bit. So maybe I'll jazz it up and uh, then release a really good tutorial, hopefully, for you guys. But yeah, hopefully you guys are all good and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.